Just a disclaimer, this isn't a tutorial, it's more so a reference how I go about doing a basic character rig. Basically, I start by breaking the character down into its individual body parts and create folders to reflect the hierarchy of those body parts. Once that is done, I create layers that correspond to the actual body part. So after that, I will go through each element and trace them until I have the character fully broken down and traced correctly. So this part of the video is pretty straightforward until we get to setting up the lower torso and hips. One thing I would like to note is when it comes to drawing the lower torso, I like to organize it in a way that allows for smooth bending. I like to create a base on my torso layer, add joints, and build around that all-in-one torso layer. In the next video, you will see how I attach the lower part of the torso to the legs and the upper part to the body. I like to create my bodies this way because it allows for more proper movement and flexibility once you begin moving the character around. So this essentially is like the starting point for my base. I like to create two circles on each side to act as joints or hips. Then I'll create a shape around that to act as the base. Then I'll create the legs, you know, the top left leg, the top right leg, and combine those to the other joints as well. It's a little confusing, but when you see it, it'll make sense. So right here, we're just creating the legs in the normal way that you would normally create legs or arms or, you know, limbs basically. You know, create two circles for the joints, put a rectangle in the middle to act as the limb, and make sure the points are all aligned and from there we have our legs. As you can see, once that leg or arm is done, you can basically take that limb and flip it to the other side instead of redrawing everything over. So this essentially is the first phase of my basic character rigging process, which is basically just breaking the character down into different parts and tracing each part on its own layer or in its own group. Or depending on how you structure it, it could be everything on one layer. And from then, the next video will begin adding bones and will begin rigging. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more of my work or learning about animation, make sure to subscribe and follow along. I love to hear your thoughts on the project and any challenges you're facing as creators. See you in the next video.